or C. <coughs> and he is a YouTuber, a philosopher, and more. He always looks smart and neat. You have to admit, he looks smart to me. It's like last <laughs> Our, our smart theater, Toastmaster Hassan Al Alqadi. What would you choose in life? Would you choose to live a great life, or <coughs> would you choose to, excuse me, live with the boring majority? Fellow Toastmasters, Distinguished guests, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> we live in a world which categorizes people into two types of people. <coughs> they are categorized into a 95% and a 5%. Before we go into this more in depth, let me just point out, let me just go about and define something else. Objective. Now, what is an objective? Basically defined, an objective is something you would aim towards to achieve. A goal. We all achieve to do something in life. We all aspire to do a certain thing. <coughs> that is an objective. So, what does this have to do with the 95 and 5%? Let us now define them. 95% is the majority of people who live in the world who technically <coughs> eat, sleep, work, repeat. Eat, sleep, work, repeat until infinite numbers of time. 5% people, the other 5% are defined as the people who have that certain dream, that certain fire in them that wants to achieve something in life. They're the tumultuous people, so to speak. They're the ones who have something different, something that they want to do in their life. So basically, putting those two definitions together, we can say that 95% are the normal people, and 5% are the really loud people who want to do something in their life. A 95% person <coughs> would be like, all right, let me wake up today, this morning, let me go to my job, let me earn my own paycheck, and finally buy that car that I always dreamed of. That would be something extremely typical, don't you think? A 5% person, on the other hand, Oh, my apologies, 5%. 5% people would be like, I will wake up today, I will go to my job, I will earn my wage in order to save for that business that I've always wanted to open. And maybe later on, after that, I will plan on world domination. <laughs> okay, not in that certain particular that they want to do <coughs> domination, but you can see how it's actually going on. I mean, you've got people who live their lives <coughs> with just having mundane tasks, and you've got people who want to do something in their lives. They're the 5% people. Of course, they are defined by objectives. Yes, let's go back to this. Objectives. They are defined by their own <coughs> objectives. They are sometimes they think about their objectives and say that this is their own objective. But let's not put mundane people in, on the spotlight. Because for mundane, for those people who decide to have mundane goals in life, it's actually an achievement for them. And that's not all. <coughs> an objective is also defined by three things. They are defined by number one, your abilities what you are capable of doing. Some of us are capable of doing certain super things or some of us are just capable of not being so special, so to speak. <coughs> Desire. 
some of us desire to do super things. Some of us just desire to curl up in bed and wish the way to wither slowly underneath the warmth of the blanket. I know, that's actually a good sense. That's actually a good feeling. And the last but not least factor, external factors. External factors such as your environment that you live in, the society, economy, it dictates certain things towards your objectives. <coughs> These three factors play an important role in defining your own objective in life. Now, fellow Toastmasters, we all have objectives in life. We actually run through objectives in life. That's what fuels us to live each and every single day. <coughs> but tonight, go home and think of the following things. Ask yourself, what would I want to do in life? What is it that I really want to do in life? Would I want to be with the boring major with the boring 95 majority, or would I want to be here in the 5% minority? Of course, that is if it suits you. Not everyone is cut out to live the 5% life. Think about that. Think about the unthinkable and do the undoable. Would you want to be a 95 percenter or would you want to be a 5 percenter? Over to you.